paras korkeakoulu opiskelijalle. Hello everyone, my name is Andres Mendez and I would like to welcome you to another episode of Visit Sam Week. Uh, in this occasion, we have another special guest and um, as I mentioned before, we will be having different guests in different episodes. Sometimes we will be students, sometimes we will have um, uh, staff members, heads of degree programs, lecturers of the different programs and in this case, um, we have a, a, a very special guest. Uh, we have a senior lecturer, Mr. Kimo uh, Kulmala, and uh, he is a senior lecturer from International Business Program, International Business Administration Bachelor's Program. Um, Kimo, how are you today? I'm fine. Thank you for inviting. Yes, <laughs> it's very good to have you here. I will have some questions for you today, and I'm very sure that some of the people uh, watching this video will be will be very interesting to uh, to know from your experience, from your perspective, and uh, and and because you've been working with the students uh, for for these years. But um, so tell us a little bit about the International Business Administration Program, which in SAM we usually call it IB, the International Business Program, right? Yeah. What is it all about, please? Yeah, I think uh, the main thing about. Uh, international business is, of course, it's multicultural. There's lots of people from different backgrounds. Uh, we have teachers, uh, we have students from all over the world. So uh, uh, I think that's the main point. We, like it's said, it's international business, which includes sales, marketing, trade, sustainability, digital business, that kind of things. Don't get ahead. I will ask some questions about that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, but it's great. Yeah. It's great. I mean, the fact that we have students from, from different countries around the world is very interesting because when you look at Finland, mm -hmm. uh, well, it's a small country compared, when you compare with different other countries, but also it's like up north of Europe and yeah. still being able to reach such a... Um, uh, international audience, yeah. like for example, with our videos and and with our classes and and with the programs, it, it's, it must be something very special here mm -hmm. that uh, that the students want mm -hmm. to want to learn. Mm -hmm. For example, um, how long does the international business program last? Like, how long do students have to be prepared to live in Finland if they want to study with us? Uh, it's uh, 210 ECTS, which means that uh, typically it's uh, three and a half years, mm -hmm. uh, but it really depends on what is the background of the student. Sometimes some students, they do it in two years. Sometimes it takes a little bit more, but let's say it's three and a half, which means like two to four years. Yeah. And for example, this program also, uh, it gives the students the opportunity to, to work in, in like real cases with companies. Yeah. And how, how does that work? Yeah, um, our teaching methods, we are like really practical oriented. I think that's something that uh, uh, some of the students uh, are surprised when they come here because uh, we work with a uh, real project, real companies and uh, and for the first year students we have this virtual enterprise teaching methods where they have to start their own business and run it for six months and, and they learn to work together, they learn the basic skills from the, uh, from the business and uh, the basic operations that companies have, mm -hmm. they learn it by doing it. Okay, so for example, while they work in projects, they are also learning uh, and they have assignments, for example, uh, like uh, they are evaluated and they get grades by working in this project as well? Yeah, I think uh, in many or most of the courses, they have some kind of assignments that are connected to the real business or real real companies. Okay. As a senior lecturer, what are, for example, the courses that you consider uh, no most important, but for example, that, that you think that the students enjoy the most? Um, the, uh, the study program is that during the first year we, we learn the basic skills and uh, during the second year we will have uh, main courses about marketing, sales, international business, digital business, accounting, that kind of things. And uh, during the third year everybody can specialize, they can take uh, whatever modules they want and what they find interesting. But during the first two years they will learn to be mm -hmm. international business professionals. That's 
That is, that is very interesting, you know, the word international, because at SEAM we do promote internationalization, and of course we can always do more, and I think mm -hmm. we are in very good steps in order to, to, to achieve this, starting by uh, having programs in English, mm -hmm. you know, which mm -hmm. is like why in a country where we don't speak English and mm -hmm. we are kind of far away mm -hmm. from other countries mm -hmm. that speak English, you know, we are able to offer uh, programs in English. What do you think that attracts the most when the students, you know, want to come? Like, actually, the right question would be, why do you think students actually will should apply it for Sam to study international business? Uh, during the uh, re recent years. Uh, we have noticed that there's quite a lot of students who already know somebody who is here. Okay. So they have the, their experiences and they say their experiences for their friends or in social media. And I think that's the main reason why people want to apply to us. Okay. So, so they no, already know something about us. They have heard something and mm -hmm. they have heard good stories. They want to be part of our, our school as well. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that makes a lot of sense yeah. and uh, it's nice. Um, well, the students come and then uh, we have students from different countries. What are the main um, international experiences that they could face while studying with us? Uh, one thing is that uh, if they, when, whenever they come here, uh, of course, uh, some of our stuff is international, so they, they will learn from them. But I, I think the main thing, how they learn international uh, things and multicultural things in Seineg is because we have students from more than 20 countries every year and we have quite a lot of uh, exchange students, uh, mostly from different uh, European countries. But we also have double degree students who will do their own degree in their home institutions and also for us. So those students spent one year here and the, these are good connections for our students as well. But our students have the same opportunity so they can do uh, uh, double degrees, one for us mm -hmm. and fun, one for our uh, uh, partners all around Europe. I was about to ask yeah. you regarding that but I th I th because I believe it's a great chance that, that the students that come here uh, are able to take advantage of the partner institutions yeah. that we have. No, yeah. they don't take advantage of the partners, but mm -hmm. they take advantage of the partnership that we have built mm -hmm. with other uh, universities. So if a student comes from abroad and study at SAM, then this student has the opportunity to do an exchange program to another country and also can do a double degree program. Yeah, yeah. It's possible to get two degrees, one from us and mm -hmm. one from the partners. Uh, in Germany, uh, Czech, yeah, in yeah, yeah, all, all of Netherlands, <laughs> yeah. And uh, does it cost them any extra? No, no. On, it's only for traveling and accommodation, of course, things like that. But Their own but expenses. it's it, yeah, but it's included in the in in uh, in our fees. Yeah. That's amazing. That's really good. That's very good. Please write that down. <laughs> you mentioned Saint Aoki, and. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell us a little bit about Senayoki. How, how will a foreigner student feel while coming to Senayoki, not knowing uh, the distances from places or, or things to do? Is, is there any ideas that you could, uh, that you could maybe share with us? Uh, I think for the students, uh, it's really important that the, community, the student community is right here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually in, in uh, uh, the Frami F, which is the, the business building, and uh, we are, while we are doing it, we can see the student dorm across the river. Right so across it's, the river. There, <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, there it is. So, <laughs> so it's like 100 meters away from this yeah. building. So, so most of the students, they live really close yeah. here. And I think that's also important part of the student life is to actually hang around with the other students. Yeah, it is, it's of the important class. when they live yeah. together. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, it's true. What about jobs or some other activities? Like Finns are a lot into sports. Like yeah. they like to do a lot of activities. What happened in winter? Uh, there's lots of uh, indoor activities, of course, but there's also, also winter activities, skiing and uh, that kind of things. But uh, I think, especially in Seineg, there's opportunities opportunities for all kind of sports mm. and everything is close by. It takes about 15 minutes to go 
just about anywhere and you have all the opportunities close to your uh, uh, student housing or to your school. Yeah, and also, for example, myself, as you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a Finn, mm -hmm. for you guys to know. I'm, I'm, I'm from Mexico, and I've been living in Finland for about six, seven years. And I, I can witness this perfectly. I've been living here in St. Ioki, and I have a bike and mm -hmm. a scooter, and I can go pretty much anywhere. I, in, you know, it's, it's scooter distance or bike distance. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is true. I can go to the shop. I can visit friends. I can go to a theater. I can go to movies. I can... Um, go to different sport events mm -hmm. and, and in very short distance, so yeah. it's, it's accessible. That is very nice. And um, once again, if you can if you can help us with the last uh, one last comment, why would a student from a, from abroad should chose Sam to study? Yeah, um, <laughs> well, I think the first thing that comes to my mind is that uh, we have good relationship between uh, teachers and students, mm -hmm. so you can ask anything from all the teachers, we will help you. And uh, I think that's what makes it easy. The, the, the teachers are among the students and that's, that's what really that's helps. True. And, uh, and uh, we have lots of these different practical things that we do. So it also helps people to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's really important when, when we're talking about studying abroad or in the different countries. You will. Mm -hmm. You will know your teachers, you will know your classmates, and it helps you to, for all the things in your life. Yeah, I think connecting to what you're saying regarding uh, being approachable, here at SAM we have this SAM spirit, yeah. and uh, we try to, yeah, to be helpful, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, uh, a lecturer or people, you know, the staff members in, in, uh, in the university, yeah. and the students, and the older students sometimes try to help as well the new students. I think it's something that is, is worthy, worthy of mentioning. Mm -hmm. Sam spirit, common experience with us. Mm -hmm. Kimo, I wanna thank you so much yeah. for visiting, uh, visiting us in this, um, uh, in this episode. And uh, I hope that we'll have a lot of students applying to international mm -hmm. business program in the future. And uh, thank you so much yeah. for being okay. here with us. Thank today. you. Thank you everybody for uh, being here with us today. We'll see you next time.